Okay, now let us look into this evidence courtesy of the Daily Mail, right? And we're looking on the rise and fall of Jimmy and Tammy Faye Baker. Oh, drug addiction, rape accusation, and stolen millions destroys the empire built by the Kardashians of gospel, right? So we have another example of how the Most High exposed these people coming in his name, but they are nothing more than wolf in sheep's clothing. Let us get into this. Jim and Tammy Faye Baker were the Kardashian of the gospel for a good part of the 1980s, raising close to a billion dollars for their PTL ministry. It all came swiftly crashing down, however, when it was revealed that the couple had stolen millions of dollars worth of donations from people around the world to fund their increasingly over-the-top lifestyle. And that was just the tip of the iceberg with allegations that Jim had raped a secretary emerging around this time while his wife Tammy was forced to check into rehab for a pill addiction. Okay now, where have we heard those allegations, some of those allegations before? Where have we heard them from before? Let us continue. The baker made no secret of their love for material things. Prior to the scandal, with Tammy in particularly attaining an almost iconic status as a result of her colorful outfits and heavy mascara, she was also the perfect accomplice for her husband. With her ability to burst into tears of joy or sorrow at the drop of a hat, so it's not just Tammy Faye Baker that can burst out into tears. Jimmy Swaggart also burst out into tears. It was a theater in the 1980s, right? To play on people's emotions, to get them to donate. Let us continue. Over the next 11 years, their following grew exponentially until 1986, when PTL reported proceeds of $129 million. They also opened their own Disney-like park in South Carolina, Heritage, which drew in 6 million visitors a year. It all came crashing down with an exposed in the Charlotte Observer, which revealed all the bakers were spending those donations, were spending those, those donations to the ministry. The most damning was the 250000 that Jim paid to silence the secretary, Jessica Han, for what he claimed was a consensual affair. My, my, my. Please go look up the life and time of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker, a couple that used the name of the Most High to enrich their lives and destroy others. But the Most High is in control and most definitely dragged them out the closet right understand we don't need to come with sticks and stones we don't need to come with our pitchforks especially with allegations that is levied against td jakes whether he's innocent or guilty the most die will do his job right understand td jakes is not the first he won't be the last so people please don't be so gullible when somebody come with prophecies telling you that god is gonna take him down right God has been taking down these false prophets long before T.D. Jakes. And he will continue to do so after T.D. Jakes, if he's guilty. Right? So we need to pray and say glory be to the most high. Uh,